For me, I get a, I get a, uh, like a like a perfumish nose. Um, a little, a little fruit, but but I really I really enjoy it though. It isn't too much up front. The Fred Minnick Show is brought to you by 291 Colorado Whiskey and by Michter's American Whiskies. When University of Louisville basketball icon Russ Smith announced he was starting a bourbon brand called Mr. and Mrs. Bourbon, many people reached out to me wanting to know my thoughts. Well, I'll get to those here in a second. We all know Smith for his heroics on the court, earning the 2013 National Championship. That's right, the 2013 National Championship. It's real. And All-American status and multiple records for points scored and steals. He's played all over the world as well as the NBA. But what folks don't know is Russ Smith has a fantastic palate. I've sipped with him, and he's well-suited to pick bourbons to put on the shelf. I also much prefer him coming out with a brand than some trying to cash in celebrity on the bourbon craze. Today, Russ Smith is sidelined, nursing a shoulder injury that's keeping him off the court. But he's full throttle spreading the word of bourbon. Today on The Fred Minnick Show, we don't drink Russ Smith's bourbon. Rather, in a blind tasting, Russ and I taste five whiskeys and rank them. Here are the glasses. Get your pen. Here we go. Glass A, Maker's Mark 46. Glass B, Rabbit Hole Starlino Vermouth Cask. Glass C, Four Gate Private Select Toasted Finish. Glass D, Smoke Wagon, Special Batch, Small Batch, 98.7 proof, 12 years old. And Glass E, Four Roses, Single Barrel, Lincoln Road Package Store, 9 years old, 10 months, 115.6 proof, OESQ recipe. Now, I bought that last one, that Four Roses one, at auction for the Kentucky Bourbon Benefit. So, very excited to taste that. And I cannot wait for you all to listen, to watch us taste. Uh, if you're listening to this on um, on uh, on the podcast, on the audio side, make sure that you just go to YouTube and, and watch the tasting because it's um i think it's easier to watch this than to, than to listen to it but still listen to it either way uh you're going to enjoy this with the icon russ smith here's the interview and tasting and join on the fred minnick show for some blind bourbon action my good friend russ smith how you doing sir what's up man how you doing thanks for having me man yeah, I wish this could be in person. My little boy's in quarantine. I just wanted to play it safe. Wanted to play it safe just because, uh, you know, look, you're you're still playing basketball, and I don't want I don't want you to get in any kind of like quarantine situation. <laughs> so you know, uh, but uh, man, I, it's good to it's good to see you and drink some bourbon with you. You just had your jersey retired. How did that feel, man? Man, that was special. Uh, I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't expect it. You know, when I first came came here to school, but to finally see that up there, go through that whole day. Uh, the University of Louisville was tremendously gracious for um, giving me that honor. Uh, I'm just happy for those who supported, came, and everyone that's been uh, congratulating me. And I saw Coach Patino gave a uh, gave a shout out to you on the on the jumbotron. That had to feel good, and I know the fans love seeing him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know that's always good, you know, and they love him too. So they uh, they erupted. That was the the loudest the the yum's been in a little while. Yeah, uh, let's let's hope it gets back to to being back like it was back when you were there. <laughs> um, so mm-hmm. what we're doing is especially now that you are and I've ta- we've tasted bourbon together before. I was yep. very impressed with your palate. Um, and we're what we're doing here is we're doing blind bourbon, and we both have little little vials here of, yep. uh, that are labeled A, B, C, D, and E. Mm-hmm. We are going to taste these together, and the, what 
I don't know what they are, what order they are, but we got Makers 46 is in the lineup. Nice. We got uh, a private barrel of uh, Four Roses uh, single barrel here. This is a... This is from uh, Lincoln Road, a uh, private barrel from um, that was bottled in 2017. Nice. Have uh, a four gate, uh, six year old private select. Nice. Got the latest from Rabbit Hole, uh, Starlino. Okay. I don't, I don't know too much about this one, but it's a rye whiskey finished in vermouth casks. Okay. Starlino. That kind of sounds. Uh, uh, I like that name. Yeah, that's an interesting yeah. name. And then we got uh, Smoke Wagon. Uh, this is a, a this is a uh, hundred and no, this is ninety eight point seven proof, ten years old. Uh, Smoke Wagon. So okay. Now, where's that out of again? So this is this is actually from uh, from uh, Las Vegas, but Vegas, it's, uh, yeah. All it's right. it's distilled in it's I distilled thought. in Indiana. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought when you first said it. All right, cool. Cool. So, um, let's do this. Let's jump right into this. You, you've you got your own tasting process now. You've got your own brand, Mr. and Mrs. Bourbon. And yeah. so, like, you, you are now you are now in the in the big leagues of, uh, of yes. tasting because <laughs> you have to approve you have to approve your uh, your product before it gets in the bottle. So absolutely. Absolutely. And so now we are, we're just going to do like, this is going to be like a, like, so right here we have a little, this is a little last guy here uh, for my competition that I have. Cool. This, you, got the, you got the Oscar. Yeah. yeah. It's like the, it's like an Oscar, right? Except here it's the, it's the ascots. Yeah. Uh, nice. But you got, uh, so we're going to, we're going to taste this like in competition and okay. we're going to, we're going to pick our favorite. So let's start with, let's start with glass A. Glass A. Mm. Oh, that smells. It's my first whiff of bourbon in a in a few days, and that smells good. I like it. I like it, I like it already, man. Hmm. So it is smelling. Uh, it's smelling a lot like uh, what's a like like a campfire. I get like a. For me, I get a, I get a, uh, like a like a perfumish nose, um, a little, a little fruit, but but I really I really enjoy it though. It isn't too much up front. But I enjoy it. I'm I'm very interested in how this one's going to taste. Yeah, I know it, it's it's uh, we got we got two uh, two very unique descriptions here, and let's see what it's like on the palate. Wow. I mean, that's um. That's something I'd go back to. Um, yeah, it's there's some like licorice here. There's some like peanut butter, um, some marshmallow. I like that. Definitely, definitely get the licorice, and I definitely get the peanut butter as well. Mhm. Mm yeah, that is. Um, I love. The, yeah, that peanut butter strong too. Yeah, it's got it's got something going on there. Ah, uh, that that's a. That's a contender for sure. I mean, this is a this I, is a this the first this the first one too. I, yeah, is, I mean, we got a, really we got a good. tough lineup here, but that's that's definitely a contender for me. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm interested in what in what that's going to end up being because that's great. Mm. Now you've got you've got uh, uh, your release just came out. Uh, I did this mm -hmm. interview with the Courier Journal about you, and and they were like, uh, you know, I kept telling them I was like. Russ has a really good palate, and I, and uh, and I think he was like a little surprised by that. And I was like, and the and I was like, no, he's got a great palate. It's like this guy's this guy's perfect for the bourbon business. So it's good for people to see this your process right now. You're gonna you got you can tell you already got you got your own process honed in. Yeah, man, I, I appreciate it too. Uh, even going with with my picks, you know, I had to uh, I had to really 
um, lock in on what I was looking for. And I, the, the biggest thing for me is consistency. Um, and anything you do, you got to be consistent. Yeah. And your consumers want consistency. They want to know what they're getting themselves into. So uh, for the last four years, that's all I've been doing uh, with, with my brand, just, just trying to build some consistency within the, uh, the palette uh, for my consumers. Well, it's, it's crazy because I've known about it, but I also know like it four years. That's a <laughs> long time. Four yeah. years. Yes. <laughs> yes, I've been working. <laughs> Man. <laughs> so so that, was a, that was a nice uh, that was a nice pool party, though. That was really good. <laughs> yes, that that was a good time. Well, John, uh, Jonathan Blue knows how to put us together, right? He knows how to get right. people together. Absolutely. So going to Glass... On? Glass B and Jonathan Blue, uh, owner, former owner of Liquor Barn, and um, you know they are now that got acquired. He's still on the board or something. I don't know. Some bu- businessy business stuff like yeah, some beyond- businessy whoop de doo stuff. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean Jonathan knows businessy business whoop de doo whatever. You know, uh, he has like thirty thousand companies. Um, <laughs> But, um, you know, so we're just hanging out, you know, smoking cigars and drinking bourbon. And, you know, we've, we've uh, hung out a few other times. But I'll never forget, like, I'm just randomly in a Mexican restaurant. You're in, you're in the back <laughs> corner. And, yeah. and you just happen to have your samples. You're like, hey, Fred, here's my samples. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like it's, it's like a music when, uh, when an artist is giving out a mixtape on the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I just had to. I, I just came from the warehouse that day. Uh, we just bottled up, so it was. Uh, I mean, I guess it was meant to be. That was awesome. <laughs> I know. I got to tell you too. Like that was like it was kind of special. I, I haven't cracked it open yet, so I was waiting to. I was waiting to get one out on the streets before I before I, I did it because I was like I'm gonna keep this one off to the side a little bit. But uh, oh yeah, yeah, you got to. But <laughs> you, got, uh, yeah. you know, it's good. It's, it's a big moment for you. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to we're going to Glass B, and the nose right away is just jumping out of the glass. Um, yeah. Like, honestly, I'm having trouble describing it. It's uh, I, I get like a like a pepperminty uh, nose. Uh, peppermint's good. Yeah, peppermint is a good is a real good description. I'll just stay. I'll just stay there, like mm-hmm. maybe some herbs, but very right. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go in for the taste. Wow! Wow! Hmm. Makes me um, makes me want to retaste A. Actually, the way the way that B approaches on the palate's really really mm-hmm. focused on the back palate, and there's like like a lot of herbalness to it. I want right. to go back to A. I it glass B made me like A more. If that's weird, absolutely. No, no, absolutely. I think I think uh, I have A is A. It sucks because you know it's the first one, A. And, you know, we're, we're probably going to have to end up going back to A and comparing everything to it because it was so good. Right. Um, but I do – I did really enjoy that A and that uh, B does make me want to go back there. So I, I agree. But uh, it was – the B was very smooth and it is very herbal. I agree with you on there. Um, and it was a, it was an easy finish for me. Um, there wasn't really too much uh, Yeah, it kind of like – it's it kind of like <laughs> – you know, it's it, it's kind of like uh, it's there and then it's gone. Um, mm-hmm. You know, right? Like a, uh, I don't know. B, B didn't impress me. It didn't impress me. I want to be I want to be nice, but I also want to be honest. Absolutely. And just, and just didn't impress me. Go to C here. I can be I can be a fast taster like I can go boom 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 
Oh, and, knock them right out. Yeah, I can go I'm, I'm real going, fast. So if I'm going too fast, you let me know. You know, if you need a little look, slow down. I'm going to keep up with you, Fred. That's the one thing I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to let you get too far ahead. <laughs> all right. All right. So... um are there any are there any similarities to uh you know to to creating a bourbon brand uh are there any similarities to basketball like your preparation for it you know like talent are there any similarities there well wow, that's a great question um i think that the, the the biggest similarity would probably be the uh the, the team you have around you and um and how well you communicate you know because at the end of the day um, the direction of the the brand or or the company is very important, but if you if you but communicating with your master distillers, master blenders, and making sure they get the the they get everything out of their product that they took their time with and and help mm-hmm. help you create, they should be just as much as part of that process and that vision, you know, as as a person like myself is. So um, I think with basketball, um, the coach, the trainers. We're all we're all one band, one sound, mm-hmm. and um, that's that's the biggest uh, comparison that I see so far that I've been in this uh, industry. Just my uh, communication with with all my partners. Oh, that's, yeah, I mean that's uh, I mean I think that's well put. Um, you know, you know, you don't uh, you don't have referees screwing you in uh in, in bourbon at least you know, so there is right. there is that plus side <laughs> <laughs> right uh, in, in 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 reference to to yesterday's game uh Louisville played North Carolina hey man I don't know if you saw that game that was the most horribly officiated game I've ever seen probably with my two eyes since uh, since I was playing super bitty basketball I mean well North Carolina is always screwed. North Carolina is always going to get the calls you know they just like uh Jeez, <laughs> but come on. Yeah, I mean, look, U of L, U of L is gonna, they're gonna be back. They're gonna be back. And and like, uh, refereeing aside, I mean, this is an this is an apex apex institution for basketball. Right. Absolutely. You know, Denny Crum created it. Uh, mm-hmm. Rick Pitino furthered it. Uh, Chris Mack had a cup of coffee. And like yeah. you know, you know, he 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 pushed the yeah. envelope. People people don't want to give him credit for, it, but he did push the envelope right. a little bit. And he, I I felt like I felt like he was the, that at that point in time. You got to remember where we were at that point in time. You yeah. know that was that was a great. I was an excellent hire. You know he was successful at Xavier, and you know if his system worked, he's a hero. You know so yeah. you gotta. I I want to give credit to the you know the people that really put him in a situation to be successful because if it would have worked i mean forget about it you know it just it just didn't work so right now we're at a halt there's a there's a halt in, in, in trading and yeah. we just gotta pick back up <laughs> yeah I, I hate it for mac i wanted it to work because he's a great guy he's a right good human being but yeah we're on c we're on c, we're right on c now, right? glass c okay now Glass C has something going on in it that uh, yeah. uh, that B did it. It has some personality. Yeah. This is this this has a like a lot of fruit character. This reminds me of pulling out like a blueberry pie out of mm. the out of the oven. I like that. I like that. Man, this is good. I could smell this all day. Yeah. Oh man! Oh my God! Wow! That's a that's a thunder on the palate. Yeah, that gives you everything. Wow! <laughs> that gives you everything. You know, I think my this is complicated. It's a complicated bourbon, but I think my favorite note in here is probably um, cinnamon. Like there's a like a mm. really nice like like cinnamon red hot kind of. Uh, Nope. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. I love it. I love the uh like you said, the 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 blueberry pie reference was, was on was on point. And then the uh the cinnamon, I ended up finding the cinnamon. 
but for some for some reason my palate it always picks up in a lot of and a lot of bourbons with, with personality I like to call it mm-hmm. it always picks up the, the the fruit essence and for me um, this one is just just packs a, a, a fruity punch and, did you um, did you eat a lot of fruit as a kid yeah I'm a fruit person so yeah um, love love pineapples love strawberries uh, cantaloupe I'm I I go all in on fruit so um, when I when I have when I'm when I'm tasting um, those those notes are very um, are very forward for me um, in my comparisons or whatever I got to do to make a make an analogy. Yeah, I find that when people people gravitate toward uh, things they ate as children, uh, mm-hmm. and they you know uh, that's pretty common, and and like you, you usually continue to eat it you know throughout life, but uh, you you can find it because you identify with it so easily. And and the the beauty of of all of this is that everybody can train their palate. It's just mm-hmm. kind of tapping into your taste memories, and you know, tasting is is a muscle memory, uh, just like a free throw for you. I mean, for God's sake, I would never allow you to see me shoot a free throw. You'd, you <laughs> you would laugh so hard. But uh, you know, my muscle memory ain't so good on that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, nor is uh, D- Doug Gottlieb, who um, you know, who's a famous like sportscaster now. But he was yeah. our, he was our point yeah. guard at Oklahoma State. That dude shot like forty percent on the free throw line. Bet one of the best, one of the best like point guards, but he couldn't shoot a free throw. Oh um, man, Doug, I, I, I didn't know that about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the. He's he's famous for that and for having his pants on backwards at a at a game once, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. But uh, honestly, though, uh, I do like I do like C. It for sure has a lot of personality. And then uh, toward the end, uh, on the finish, I did taste a uh, a lot of uh, caramel. So yeah, um, for- yeah. I mean, I think C <laughs> is one where no matter like when we unveil what these are, um, mm-hmm. you know, as as people are watching this, they're going to see what they are. But as we are tasting right now, we don't know. Right. Um, so it is, um, I have a feeling that C is going to be one that people kind of clamor for anyway. So, all right, let's go to D and kind of, um, Ooh, D is dark. Holy shit. That is dark. D is dark, man. This was, Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it's it's so dark that it makes me a little nervous, you know. Yeah. Like did, did somebody <laughs> did somebody drop something in there? You know. Was this was this tampered with? <laughs> <laughs> did you drop a nail in there? You know. Yeah. This is going to be very. Is. Oh man. That is. Was it one of the labels like finished in like vermouth or something? Yeah. So. So this is the one finished in vermouth, but that's not that's not that's that not dark. that yeah. yeah that's not that dark no I mean maybe right. maybe the smoke wagon the smoke wagon I mean, ah, maybe the yeah. smoke wagon there I think yeah I'm gonna go with the smoke wagon that's gonna be my that's gonna be my guess if I had to make a, make a guess jeez Aaron what'd you do to this Aaron's oh, Aaron's man. the distiller but whew, uh, I don't know we don't Ooh. I don't know if it's smoke wagon but it is it is definitely dark. Yeah, it is tough. It doesn't stink, so it I mean, smell good. It, it, it smells, smells like good. Some, yeah, it smells like some Twizzlers. Oh man, after yeah. my own heart, Russ. <laughs> I love Twizzlers. If if I could eat nothing but Twizzlers, I'd probably weigh five hundred pounds. I mean, I I, see, I love I'm, Twizzlers. See, I'm a gummy person. I love gummies. It like any gas station I stop at, that's that's what I'm really? going. Really? If 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 I wasn't making bourbon, then I would find a way to make gummies. Like like <laughs> non CBD gummies or non non cannabis gummies. Oh, or not, no, uh, not not the cannabis ones. Like the uh, like yeah. the lifesavers or the or the. Oh, uh, right on. Yeah. The, yeah, the gold the gold bags, and I have I have one right in front of me. I think they're they're called the uh, the Albanese. 
some of these oh. out the knees. <laughs> Look at that. Just dropping the gummies right there. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> but, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm all about it. But, hey, you know, you could always do a bourbon-infused gummy. I don't think anyone's doing that. That could be fun. That yeah. could be fun. That's a, that's a new project for you. <laughs> okay, so the color of this has definitely been... Uh, it's all I've been focusing on. It smells. It smells like. It's, it it smells kind of like cola. Uh, it smells like ro uh, rosemary. I mean, it's got a lot of lot of smell, a lot of aromas uh, to it. Right. But nothing. Uh, nothing really overpowering. Right. I like the cola. I definitely like the cola. And it's very syrupy on the palate. Some nice banana notes to it. Oh, and it's smooth too. That's very. And it good. doesn't give you that. Yeah, and it doesn't give you that. Uh, I mean, it's not smoky. It's not. It's not ashy yeah. like you would think. Yeah, you know, like uh, something dark or, you know, something that seems maybe charred or charred hard. Or this is really like, this is really smooth, man. It's really smooth. Yeah, I. Um... I'm kind of surprised by this. Yeah. And there's like this like uh -huh. walnut, walnut tart kind of note in there. Yep. Yummy. Mm hmm This ain't bad at all. Yeah, that, gonna... that banana that banana walnut's on point. Yeah, you're on point you're on you're on target with that one. I'm going back to A uh, before we kind of round out the E. I'm going back to A because yeah, let's rendezvous A. Let's rendezvous A. I like A too. I mean, I'm I, I. It may still be my favorite, Russ. I'm not gonna lie, that was good stuff, man. Yeah, I mean, we we still got some work cut out for us, and I think I, I'm beginning to wonder if I should have maybe poured it, had us poured uh, a little bit more, because uh, we're 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 tearing up these bottles here. Yeah, <laughs> go, going back to A, I have a greater appreciation for A. Um, mm -hmm. after tasting uh, D, I think C, C is such a, such a big giant whiskey and D is kind of elegant, uh, mm -hmm. but, but A is still right there, you know? Yeah. I think A has all of the, uh, all of the factors that you, that you want in a product and, and spirit just, uh, you know, just in comparison to, to what I've had from, a, B, C, and D thus far. Um, a is for sure superior, but even outside of all of these, uh, I would I would buy A. Um, a is nice, and then followed by the C, then maybe the D. But uh, the B is still up for question. I do. I would like to try B again. Yeah. Uh, maybe after we do the E, just yeah. to give it another shot, because okay. it was it was it, you know it was uh, it, it it didn't have a lot of personality. But it was it's still it's still a, it's still smooth, and it's still something that didn't really uh, that didn't make me you know want to spit it out or cough it up. Um, so I mean, there, I yeah, like there is not, that. It didn't make you want to barf. That's good, right? So it, you know, so it, it, so that means it's something I can enjoy or I can right find on. a way to enjoy. <laughs> so <laughs> I would definitely like the Monday Boo B. All week. right, so let's go to Glass E. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's see what we're doing with E. Mm. This, sm this smells like the Kentucky State Fair. You got you got like the funnel cakes cooking. You got the uh, yeah. you got the fella uh, trying to push the uh, the the cinnamon nuts, uh, and then you yeah. got some like hay in the background. Yeah. See, it's the uh, it's the Kentucky State Fair for you, and it's Coney Island for me. All oh, right on, yeah. <laughs> right yeah. on. That's Coney Island for me. You know, we got we got the big funnel cake place with the sugar powder and all that. Yeah, yeah. This is nostalgic right here. It really is. Pretty it's good. got a. It's got like a. It's got a Ferris wheel ride on the on the horizon, and and like um, you know. Definitely taking me back to some times as a kid. 
It smells great, though. It's great. Hmm. Very nutty. Well, yeah. Definitely nutty. It's not going to be at the top for me. Mm -mm. I almost... almost feels... It almost tastes flawed. Mm-hmm. That's tough. So we were kind of like, kind of giving our conclusion on E here, and it didn't sound like either one of us is really feeling the power of E. Right. I like the nose on E, though. The nose on E is, I think, is spectacular. Um, the nose on E is, is, is pretty good. Well, in comparison to what we got in, in front of us. Um, I still like A. I still like C better. And D weren't too bad. And E's nose was, you know, was up there. But uh, as far as the, the taste on E, I might actually go with B over E. Wow. Well, and yeah, you're yeah. spot on too with saying that E was very nutty. It's like, um, I mean, it's overly nutty. I mean, it's like, I mean, I it, I don't know. Yeah, not my not my jam. And I have a feeling it's uh, it's one of the older bottles here. Yeah, like, and and for me, you know, you hit it on the head too. Uh, growing up, you know, I was a I was a fruit. I'm a fruit person, and. Yeah. Um, I love I love candy so so like even with Mister and Mrs a lot of my notes are you know buttery butterscotch caramel all that good stuff honey and uh, for me nuts just it it just just isn't me um, so that might play into into uh, into effect when I'm you know judging this this eval uh, but I retasted yeah, I, I retasted B. <sighs> And look, I mean, this is that is clearly intended to, for a Manhattan. Uh, I mean, mm. I think I think Glass B would be an incredible whiskey to have in uh, in a Manhattan. So, um, I think I think I'm probably probably giving it giving B the nod over E as well. But I think it's yeah. e, it's easy for me to now move the tasting to A, C, and D. And Absolutely. like kind of kind of do a taste off there. Absolutely, I gotta make sure I have enough A. I'm bad at <laughs> it. I, I'm on my last drops of A. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to glass C before the A because I had a little bit of A before. Yeah, I've been kind of I've been kind of stealing some A. <laughs> <laughs> you know where your heart is, you know. <laughs> But the C was really good, though, man. C smells beautiful. <clears throat> beautiful. A plate of pineapples for me, man. A plate mm. of pineapples. It really does have that fruitiness to it. It's it's um. C is um. A spectacular pour. Um. Definitely this. You're talking pineapples. I'm getting a little bit of like watermelon, watermelon rind in there, and mm. and I think you said cantaloupe earlier on it. Yep. I, and I think I think I'm in that like melon kind of category with this. It's like really, the the fruit on this is just absurd. Um, yeah. It's just off the charts with fruit. Mm. Get everything, man. I like I I I enjoy this nose. I I enjoy this nose a lot. Um, this is, this is, this is, this for sure is going to come down to, to, to A and, and C. And, um, I think D is going to be, uh, it's, it, it's going to be, end up being three for me, but I, I think the fighting, the, the fighting for the, for the number one spot is going to come down to A and C, hands down. Mm. I mean, I think you're spot on. But, but you said earlier too, when you, uh, we were talking about that peanut butter note and 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 C. I got that too. I got that too. And that and that and that peanut butter note is 
is spectacular. Uh, it's it's one to none. This this is really good. Russ, I'm this is like hard. To see a lot more. Yeah, I'm like this to see a lot more than I did before. Yeah, I'm loving C now. I just went back to A, and it's it's like it it's like uh like a like soda water kind of like tickles your palate mm. and kind of like it kind of like lights up my palate like a Christmas tree real slowly uh, across the tongue, whereas. Whereas C is like a wave just coming in there and coating it. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a dogfight, man. This is a dogfight. It's a three-point shooter versus the in-the-paint, you know, in-the-paint in hustler. Absolutely. Yeah, this is – this right here is uh, – man, this is – how do I – what's the best way I can put this? This is – uh. You got the you got the you got the paint guy. Who's your paint guy? This is know what this is? This is this is uh for what we have here, we have five good players. Yeah. And we have a three point specialist in Curry. And then we have a a guy that's a little bit more all around in LeBron. So this is what we're dealing with 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 A and C, and you know the may the may the better guy win today. So so is C Le, is C LeBron and A is 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 Curry. I think A is LeBron because it's a little bit oh, more. Oh, A, a is around. LeBron. Okay. Yeah, and I think right. C is the, the the Curry because it's so it's so ex, 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 explosive and, and it's and it's nose and um and its personality. It has and a lot of yeah, it, LeBron is a LeBron is a big fan of yours too. Like he's he's tweeted at you like when you made that record, you know. So, oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. Yeah. Now so think, uh, the the king and I are on good terms. <laughs> the king and I are on great terms. He is you know, such, wrote, he he is such an amazing player. He's so amazing uh, he's, to watch. He's excellent, man. To be at that age and doing what he's doing is phenomenal. I actually wrote. Um, AD Anthony the other day, uh, to, I was I'm, I was going to send him and the King, you know, the bottle of my uh, the twelve year Cabernet finish, and um, Jr. Everybody thinks me and Jr. Smith are brothers, <laughs> but uh, I'm sending him the bottle of a, of a twelve year Cabernet finish as well. So um, yeah, a ba- basketball still plays a, a a big a big has a big part in in my life. Well, I mean, it's a fraternity, you know. I mean, you yeah. know, you're you're a professional, you know, basketball player, and um, you know, you're you're an icon in college, and and you know, you've been you've been hustling in the pros for you know since 2014. So absolutely, you know, you're somebody that you know. It's um, it I, it makes me it makes my heart happy to see that camaraderie out there. You know, it really does. Thank you, man. I appreciate you for it. Well, you you've been a you've been a big big part of our community for a long time, my friend. And um, you know, and I know that this is a you know, starting a bourbon is a is a really great it's a really great like next thing to do because mm-hmm. like you're saying it's a lot like basketball. It's it's competitive, but you still have friends here. Yeah. Um, and you you created a brand that is not Russ Smith. It's right. Mr. and Mrs. Bourbon. And like that is Absolutely. like you know, if you want to sell that in ten years, Mr. and Mrs. Bourbon could be anything. You know, it could be anybody. You know, not to say Absolutely. you want to sell it, but I think it's I think it's great. The branding's great, you know. Um I haven't tasted your entire portfolio, but what I've had is good. So, you know, I think you're uh I think you're onto something. And just tasting Thanks, with you to show people your process and how you taste um, you know, I know that, I know that'll go a long way to, to folks. Ah, I appreciate it. I just, uh, you know, coming here in the state of Kentucky, you know, they, they, this place showed me, uh, showed me a lot of love and, um, to get into the bourbon industry, you know, Kentucky pastime, uh, it's been very special to me, very, very dear to me. And, um, uh, that's where the missus um, comes in. You know, my lady designed the, the label. I played basketball here. You know, bourbon's a Kentucky pastime. So I just tried to, like, embody everything in one with me being the mister and the missus being everything 
I love. But um, I'm just I'm just excited to to be in the industry, and everybody has been so helpful. Um, the, the Willett guys, the Peerless guys, the, the Four Roses guys, er, everybody that I've ever met has, has been great. The, the Angels guys, Wes, um, everybody's yeah. been helping me. So um, this has been spectacular. But um, but yeah, man. Um, uh, besides that, I'm I'm I'm, I'm interested in um and in, in what we're gonna do with this with this A and this C and what we're gonna do with this D. <laughs> Well, D is D is a is an honest third place for me. Uh, it does come come down to A and C for me as well. And what's interesting, mm-hmm. I think we might we might flip flop E and B a little bit. But I mean, I think right. you know the top the top two are definitely the top two here. Uh, right, right. And and so and it's a matter of like, what do I want in a style? Um, I'm finished on the A. I just I just poured the last of it out. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna I pour the last of mine, and let's let's just let's make the decision right here, Russ. Absolutely. All right, man. I know where I'm going. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, god damn it! All right, uh, you're 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 the guy. So should I should I go first? Or should I go second? You I you go it, you go you you go. I don't want to influence you. I don't well, want to. Perfect. 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 Um, I'm honestly, I have to go. I have to go A. All right. I have to go A, and then and then C. What What is it about A that really won you over? I think that it's not it's not too much in in one category, and the uh, and the finish on A is is exactly where I want it. Um, it isn't overwhelmingly with. Uh, a peanut butter note, or it isn't overwhelming with a with a butterscotch or a fruity note. Um, it's just perfect, and I think it's. And I think for me, um, I'm a I'm a person that likes or enjoys uh, a common ground. Um, but I think if you're, I, but I do I do enjoy C, but the C can be can have a lot of personality, and and for me. Um, that makes it a very close second to 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 A. I mean, if you would have caught me on another day, it could have been C. That's how close it was for me. Yeah, definitely, definitely was close. Uh, I flip flopped here, so I went ah, I, I went nice. C. C is my winner. Nice. Uh, C is and, great, man. And A is number two. Um, you're you're spot on with everything about A. Uh, I loved I loved A and its nuance and. It's balance. Um, I I have a little thing that I do. It's called points on the palate, and it's just like how mm. many parts of the tongue is it populating. And A right. really, and A really, really <clears throat> lit it up. It really did. But what C did is it C curled up underneath my tongue. You yeah, know? right. So yeah. it, it kind of like dripped down the jawline a little bit, and so and that and that was just where I gave it the edge. Where I give it the yeah, edge. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Yeah, I love that. I left a little bit of C left. Notice my my A is done. Yeah. A is done. <laughs> That's <laughs> how you know done. it's the winner for you. That's how you know. <laughs> well, I did leave a little C left. So, yeah. all right, you, shall I shall I open the results and figure out what we have here? Yes, this is going to be very. Let's interesting. do it. All right. All right. So we can we're both in agreement that that B and E were were the last two. Okay, so so B, as I suspected, was the rabbit hole, um, the Starlino, wow. Starlino wow. rye finished uh, whiskey. So Cave is gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna kill me! Wow. So I I paid 
Uh, this is E. The Four Roses. Uh, I paid, I think, close to $1,000 for this bottle. Whoa! It's, uh, it's from 2017. And it was uh, it was a part of the of a charity auction that I helped put together, and uh, it's the OESQ. And look, I mean, I'm going to go back into E and just be like, I, you know, definitely does not smell or taste like Four Roses ever has to me. Absolutely not. This is this is yeah. I, I, I'm with you on that 100. percent Yeah. So I I don't know if we have a cork taint issue here. Let me pull out the cork and look at it. I mean, the cork looks fine, but mm. it looks fine. But yeah, that is that is not what I'm accustomed to. Wow! Uh, yeah. Wow. And so D D was right. Uh, you were right on it based on just by looking at the color. You know, realizing how dark it was. Uh, right. But it was the uh, it was the smoke wagon, and yeah, so did a good job out there in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely good, so, uh, good whiskey. So fun fact, man. Um, when before I got into this industry, right, um, mm -hmm. I had an agent. He represented me out of Las Vegas. Great guy. He worked with um, Excel Sports, and I ended up changing agents. Um, one of my agents are, you know, they're out of here. They're based out of Kentucky, and they're big into whiskey. So my is that, is that blues agents, is that blues agency? Is, uh, it's part it's part of it, but um, we uh, but it's my my, my friend of mine, um, they, uh, David. He was my teammate, David Levitch, mm -hmm. and he was my teammate. So I actually ended up signing with a with a with a friend of mine, and he's he's great. Like, yeah, his great his guy. uncle is a part of Southern Wine and Spirits out here. Uh, Aaron yeah, Levitch, yeah. 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 So, so you know, those are those are those are my guys. And um, Mike, um, Mike was out in Vegas, and um, he was talking to me about the, uh, the 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 smoke wagon, how great of a of a of a spirit spirit it was. So I'm just glad that I really really enjoyed this, you know. And um, yeah, this is this is this is some good stuff, man. Like you know, this is for for A and B to be A and C to be one and one and two, and to have that, you know, be kind of in its own realm, so to speak, uh, it speaks highly of what they're doing out there. So uh, <laughs> it comes down to the the, the four gate uh, private select, uh, which is a toasted barrel, uh, mm. and uh, the Maker's Forty Six, uh, mm. which has a which has a barrel which has a stave finish. You chose mm. in what was glass A, Maker's Forty Six, and this is the standard Maker's Forty Six. That you can mm -hmm. buy in uh, in every store, in most stores. Wow! Right yeah, so this is a standard everyday Maker Forty Six. But you know what? You know what, Fred? And that's what I said too. You know the the common ground. Like yeah. it is too it is too much, and it's solid. That's it, it's really no weaknesses. You know, and it's and it's one of those players you keep on the court. You know, when you when you're playing with Curry and Clay Thompson. Or you're playing with LeBron, you gotta have somebody out there that's gonna do all the little things, and I feel like A does all the little things for me. And well, hey man, it, ro it rose to the top for me as well. It tasted great tonight, and like you said, like you know, tomorrow it could be different. Like you know, when right. you're ta when you're tasting, like you as an individual, you're changing. The whiskey ne necessarily isn't changing, but you are changing, and and like the I, I got, I'm gonna retaste this Four Roses. Because mm -hmm. like I seriously dropped some coin on that one, and so yeah. I, I broke it out because I couldn't wait to like taste with you, and I was like gonna I was I was thinking like this <laughs> that bottle was gonna win hands down, and right. we we're talking about like you know about the Kentucky Bourbon benefit that we put together, and then like boom, it, it's dead last. <laughs> it's, you know what? It's a and it's and it's crazy. Maybe you know, oh, man. I know I have I still have some the some of the E left in here you know as you can see yeah i got a man it definitely it did not taste like what i thought and coming in first for me uh was this uh this four gate uh you know private select here you know it's cu it's cut clocking in at uh, you know a hundred and twenty four point six proof so uh, oh I, I forgot to ask you bringing some uh, heat can we run 
can we run down the proof? Because I'm also too. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Heat, Fred. Okay. I love Heat. I love Heat. Well, and you your I, favorite. Your favorite was the lowest proof in the lineup. <laughs> but, I do, but I do enjoy some heat. Yeah. I enjoy some heat. <laughs> so, uh, but, you, but 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 too much too much of something good is never good. You know, like that's true. Too much of something good yeah. isn't good isn't good for you long term. But with that, <laughs> but so uh, man, the, you said the four gate was one twenty five. What? Yeah, one twenty five. Um, the uh, rabbit hole was one hundred five point six. The um, uh, smoke wagon ninety eight point seven, and four roses that uh, private selection one hundred and fifteen point six proof. Wow! But the nose on the four roses was so good, man. Yeah, it was so good. We'll have to revisit that another time to see if it uh, yeah. if it was something you know. I mean, look, it's about the snow here. The atmosphere is different. You know, there's a, any number of things uh, that could impact how we you know taste and smell in a moment kind of like let's let's try and put that up with uh some other like 110 and 120 um spirits like i'm interested in how that's going to figure out um i i honestly believe maybe that makers stood out because it was very low in proof and it was very well balanced um and and for me i honestly i really did want to pick c but it but it was just like i said man for 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 me i i just enjoyed the uh the the middle ground but but c did have everything and i i loved your i loved what you said about it um so man i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of down that your four roses was in the back like i'm really kind of i mean big that's a you're down. I, I spent nearly a thousand dollars on it. I'm like now. I'm like shit. I I hope it's better tomorrow because uh, it tastes like shit today. <laughs> yeah, but, we're uh, gonna have to come back on that four roses, man. We're gonna yeah, have to well, we'll, we'll, that. we'll have to retaste it for sure. Um, but man, it was it was great having you on and just tasting with you. And you know, I know you've got Mr. and Mrs. Bourbons out. I know it's gonna be a big success for you, but. Tell folks, you know, how they can find it, how they can find you. Um, let folks know how they can uh, come across it. Oh, uh, well, yeah, man. Uh, so, Mr. and Mrs. Bourbon Company, we're sold in um, in retail here in Kentucky, liquor barns and party marts affiliated. Uh, we sold out in two and a half weeks, released at the end of December. And we have four labels. We have Blue Label, Traditional Kentuckian. Uh, at 90 proof, we have the green label, 110 proof, uh, Louisville Legend. And then we have the Louisville Legend Alt, red label at 125 proof. And then we have the black and gold premium label, 12 year, finished in Cabernet. So uh, hopefully you guys can find yourself a bottle and, you know, pour up and and share a drink with in success and share a drink and in, in, in defeat you know yeah i mean well you know it's kentucky so <laughs> is it only available in kentucky only available in kentucky only okay. available in kentucky uh for now I may, yeah for now it's <laughs> for now we're, we're 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 definitely growing and um the, the twitter handle is mr and mrs bourbon uh no instagram yet uh, but the the Twitter the Twitter is uh, is active. Well, you're you're uh, you're on Twitter or, or Instagram, like um, you know, you can just find Russ Smith, the blue check mark one. Oh, absolutely. You know? uh, Instagram, Russ Ridiculous. Twitter, Specter Smith, Russ Smith, and Ridiculous. And um, anything uh, affiliated with me, you'll see uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bourbon as well. Uh, but um, I'm just very happy um, of the organic growth organic growth of the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Um, you know, we got to make sure that there's no gimmicks. We need the real, and we want to give you guys some, some quality. So um, I'm very happy. Well, you know, it, it, it's industry. bourbon, and, you know, if you, if you throw in a gimmick, you know, we'll call you out real quick. You know, it's, Absolutely. It's not a, it's, it's not a <laughs> space that, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot like sports. You know, yeah. the, the fans will let you know. So 
the fans will boo you. The fans will stop showing up to the games. Yeah. Right. And we don't. We, <laughs> exactly right. We don't want that. So, uh, yeah, we're, we, we're, we've we we been taking our time with it. And, um, yeah, thank you for having me on, Fred. I appreciate this. Well, I know it's been a long time coming, so I'm uh, it's just good hanging out with you. I'm grabbing my favorite, which was C. Give you a little toast and just nice, kind of say, man. you know, welcome uh, welcome to bourbon, my friend. Man, cheers, man. Cheers. And, and, and for you, I'm going to – wait, let me cheers with you. Hold on. Don't Uh-oh. drink yet. I, I'm going to cheers. I'm going to cheers the E with you. I'm oh. going to cheers the four roses with you. Yeah, we got to do that. It's, it's, yeah, this is <laughs> – we're not gonna let this good money and Val E go to waste. Man, this is good man, money. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> this is good stuff. Cheers, my friend. <laughs> Cheers.